What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with another comparison video, and this is part one of which expandable memory is gonna be best for you and iPad OS. Let's check them out. For time's sake. So in this first video, we are gonna strictly focus on, uh, we're gonna take them two at a time. Cause if you do any more, people can kinda get confused at what we're gonna be talking about. So the first two that we are gonna compare will be the SanDisk Extreme Pro and the Samsung Portable T5 SSD. Now, both of these are in the class of SSD, but only one of these can win in that category. So whichever one wins in the category at that time during the video, I'm going to take that one and move it on to the next level and it will go up against another type of hard drive in its same category. SSD will go up against SSD and then we will later do hard drive against hard drive and then we will do hard drive versus the actual SSD just to see which one is going to be the best for you while you're using iPad OS. So let's get started with this one. The SanDisk Extreme Pro, uh, you're gonna pay anywhere from 72 bucks to about 300 bucks for one of these. Now, this is gonna read at 550 megabytes per second. You get USB 3.0 as well as USB Type-C capability. They give you this cable. This cable is USB Type-C to C and you get an adapter so you can make this USB Type-A to C. It has rough silicone outer edges. It has a nice clip that you can clip onto any bag, case, or anything. You get USB Type-C port down here at the bottom. And the best thing about this one is it's rugged silicone outside and it actually has IP55 water and dust resistance. It's also shock resistant. Since it's rubber, you see it just bounces off the table. It just literally, it's a, it's a soft knocking sound, not a hard knocking sound. So you're nice and protected, all your data, files, everything is gonna be great, nice and protected with this SSD from Sandys. Next on our list is the Samsung T5. Now, Samsung T5 is gonna run you anywhere from 80 to 300 bucks, almost the same price range. Its read write speed is 540 megabytes per second. So it's 10 less than the SanDisk. It's also shock resistant and, and you can actually set up a password protection on this specific SSD. It actually comes with a uh, USB Type-C slot at the bottom. It can be used USB Type-C to A, but they actually give you a USB Type-C to A cable and a USB Type-C to C cable. Now, I don't have those on me right now. They may be lost somewhere, but just take my word for it. You get two separate cables. You don't get the adapter. Two separate cables. One is C to C and one is C to A. I have so many cords. I'm not sure where, where that one is right now. I'm using this one for both of them and speeds and everything work really well with both devices. So now that we've talked about these specs a little bit, I'm just gonna transfer a file from both of these and we're just gonna see how long it actually takes to do this. So first up, I'm going to use the SanDisk. Plug it in. We're gonna open up files and there it is. I'm going to take a video. Um, normally something around about a gigabyte, which I have one right here. So I'm going to hit select and we're going to move it over to this folder I have on my iPad. On my iPad is movie folder. We're going to copy it and this is going to spin and it shouldn't take any longer than a minute. Now we got a clock over here on the Google home. It's 102. It shouldn't take longer than a minute and that's about one gigabyte that we're transferring over. So there we go. If you go back to your iPad, you click on that. So if you go back to your iPad, you click on that, you go to that movie folder and there that video is. Make sure that it plays. So it is playing. There's no lag, there's no corruption in that file. Everything looks good, clear and crisp. Now, next thing, oh, let's talk about this also because when you're in here, you can actually check on the shortcuts and you can go over to where it says eject. 
Now, this shortcut does not work as of right now. I'm gonna do it. So eject is not working. We're gonna just have to undo this and then wait for it to disappear. And now we will move on to the Samsung T5. So the T5, plug that in. And we'll wait for it to pop up over here. There we go, Samsung T5. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna select the video. This is one gigabyte or so. We're gonna move this one back to that same folder. And it's now 104 over there on our clock. And we're just gonna let that little circle spin, 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 and then we'll make sure. It shouldn't take longer than a minute though. Still 104, still spinning. Should be about done, almost. There we go. We'll check on the iPad and go in that folder. And here is the video right here. You wanna play it? There we go. It's gonna play, it looks good. Now this, these both store up to 4K quality. So you don't have to worry about your larger, bigger uh, folder files going in there. Uh, they're gonna work every single time that you do it. So in this case, this instance, I'm going to pick the winner and the winner is the SanDisk Extreme Pro. So the reason I'm picking this one is because it's water resistant, it's dust resistant, it's shock proof. It's going to be probably the best bet for your dollar uh, right about now. Uh, it's going to get you more usage and if you drop it or get it wet, it's not going to be damaged. It's not going to kill your files or anything. So. I'm gonna go out and pick up a couple more SSD. What I want you guys to do is if you have anything in mind that you want me to look at specifically, leave it in the comments below. If not, I'm just gonna go pick one at random. But if you guys comment below, let me know which one you wanna see, which one you want me to put this one head to head against. I'll go out, I'll get that one, we'll test it. And then once we do the testing on those, all those, we'll move on to our hard drives and then we'll see which one is gonna be best hard drive or SSD. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Remember, SanDisk is the clear winner in this one, so it will be going head to head with another SSD in my next video. That will be part two in this series. So hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.